The Australian dollar, Japanese yen, could be breaking to the upside. Stay right there, and we'll look at it. Hi, this is Tim from TradingStrategyGuides.com. Today's trade pick is an ascending triangle on the Australian dollar Japanese yen. We'll have a look at that shortly, but first, we made huge bank on silver this week, guys. <laughs> I'll show you that along with today's active trades and later on today's trading maxim. You know, it's Friday again. Funny how that works. <laughs> Remember to click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you don't miss any of these great trade setups. I was following stops on the second half of the silver trade here with the PSAR and Tuesday it dropped like a rock hit our stop now I got no complaints on this trade since we got about five dollars ninety seven cents per contract on this which represented a total nine point seven percent account gain I'm done with silver for now unless I can find another way to get back into this. As I mentioned in Monday's video, I made a mistake on the Euro New Zealand, but it turned out for the good. So I'm following stops once again. Got it up here to 177.32 to lock in 277 pips on this. And as I mentioned in Monday's video, I've moved my stop to the original target of 20.6130 on Palladium. And that locks in 68.59. It came close to hitting that on Tuesday and Wednesday, but it didn't. So now I'm waiting for the PSAR to get up to that level, which should be the next couple of days. And we'll continue to follow the stops on this one. Got my trailing stop all the way up here to 80.31 on AMD. And it got hit right here on Monday. Lots of profit on this trade as well, so I'm good with it. 18.52 per contract for an account gain of about 5.7%. The Euro Japanese yen finally hit its first target right here on Wednesday after coming close to closing back inside the triangle. I closed half for profit, set the stop to break even on the remainder. Now we're waiting for the PSAR to get up here to start trailing stops on this. And lastly, Chewy was a disappointment. It came within sense of hitting our target right up here. And it dropped down here and hit our stop and took us out for minus $4.02 per contract on the whole size of the trade. Full 2% account loss on that. Of course, our 15% gain on everything else this week easily offset this loss. Done with Chewy for right now. And that's it for today's active trades. Let's take a look at today's trade pick. The Australian dollar Japanese yen has been in this good looking ascending triangle since mid-June or so. Just to make sure we're all on the same page here, an ascending triangle consists of a strong resistance level like this one here at 76.80 with several historical touches or approaches of the line and a series of higher lows as fewer and fewer traders are thinking about taking this short. Each time the price gets back up to the resistance level, it chips away at sell orders until it finally breaks through. It should break out of the pattern with strong momentum. The ascending triangle is a bullish pattern and I will only take a buy signal on it. And a good consolidation pattern like this should be accompanied by a decline in volume and volatility like you see here. I measure the volatility using the average true range or ATR which shows the average length of the last 14 candles. And here's the trade plan. We're going to buy a daily candle close above the triangle or above 76.80. On the breaking candle to enter a full size position we want to see this volume bar reach this volume average right here. If it doesn't quite reach the average but does reach 75% of the average, I'll open a half size position to reduce risk. You can calculate the percentage by dividing this volume number by this volume average 
and you should get at least 0.75. If you don't get at least 0.75, I suggest you stand aside on the trade. Our stop loss is one and a half times the ATR, and our first target is one times the ATR. So on the day this breaks, let's say it breaks right up to here and just 15 minutes or so ahead of the closing, put in your buy order, look down here at the ATR, multiply that number by one and a half, and measure that distance behind the entry for your stop loss, and measure one ATR above the entry for your first target. If after you enter the trade, you get a candle that closes back inside the triangle, we'll take the loss right then and not wait for it to hit the stop loss. Our intention is that a breakout of the pattern should be explosive and hit our target fairly quickly. If the momentum goes away, we want to shut the trade down without taking a full stop if possible. When the price hits our first target, we'll close half the position for profit and set the stop loss to break even on the remainder. We'll then follow stops as price moves in our direction until the market takes us out. These two rules are the very definition of cutting your losses and letting your winners run. Typically I do this using two positions. The first position has a stop loss and a take profit. That position will close automatically when the first target is hit. The second position will only have a stop loss and that's the position that will be allowed to run. When the first target is hit, we'll have to manually move our stop loss up to break even on the second position. I will only risk about 2% of my account on each trade. And that's today's setup on the Australian dollar Japanese yen. Remember, my intent here is to tell you how I manage these trades. If you've already got a good trade management plan, use it. Things that work for me may not work for you. You have to understand your own mind to find the best strategies for your trading. And speaking of understanding your own mind, that's my intent for the trading maxims. The maxims help me control my emotional impulses and keep me on the straight and narrow path. A maxim is a general truth, fundamental principle, rule of conduct, or a proverbial saying. The purpose of my maxims is to motivate me to discipline in trading as well as other areas of my life. I suggest you start your own list of maxims, things that you can say to yourself while you're trading or doing life to make sure you always do the right thing. Feel free to borrow from my list. And today we're going to dive into the archive for our trading maxim of the day. Tim's trading maxim number 63. When you can't control what's happening, challenge yourself to control the way you respond to what's happening. That's where the power is. Does it grate on your nerves when you lose control of a situation? Could it be that you never had control of the situation to begin with? How do you react? I don't mean to play semantics here, but may I suggest that you respond instead of reacting. Let me explain. Newton's law says that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. That's physics right there, guys. That's what happens in the physical realm, but we have a bit more control in the psychological realm. When circumstances happen around you, I suggest that you learn to control your reaction and return a thoughtful response instead. You know, when the guy behind you blows his horn one quarter second after the light turns green, maybe just a look and a nod and then proceed about your business. That's a thoughtful response. You don't really know his circumstances, do you? Maybe his kid is sick and he's headed to the emergency room or something worse. You just never know. Plus, instead of allowing someone else to control you, you're controlling yourself, and that's rather satisfying, too. You'll have a better day, and maybe others will as well. And this definitely applies to the markets. You have zero control over what the price is doing, so reacting badly is accomplishing nothing except increasing your own stress and the stress of those that have to deal with you every day. Practice controlling your emotions and thereby controlling your response to the things over which you have no control. Remember our Australian dollar Japanese yen trade plan for today. We're going to buy a daily candle close above the triangle or above 76.80. If the volume is not quite average, go half size as long as it's at least 75% of the average. Your stop loss is one and a half times the ATR and your first target is one times the ATR. And remember to click the link below to the trade management video for more details. 
And don't forget to sign up for my free trading picks email list to be sure you don't miss any of these great picks. I post about two or three trading picks a week from all different markets and you'll get to see them first. And the best thing is, it's free. I'll put the link below this video. Be sure to come back to Trading Strategy Guide's YouTube channel every week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 3 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time for my new videos. Don't hesitate to ask any questions you may have. I'll either answer your question right in the comments or in a training video or both. And remember, the only stupid question is the unasked one. And don't miss the next installment of the Trading Education Series next Wednesday when we'll continue our discussion of the MetaTrader trading platform. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up below. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you on Monday.